What's up? This is Asher Roth. Asher Paul Roth is my real government name. And I'm from Morrisville, Pennsylvania. Man, dude, like, the Isle of College moment in my life when I was like uh, 21 and that whole thing was going on, it was amazing, dude. Like, first of all, we've built an amazing foundation off of it. Uh, it's tough because, yeah, from a from a perception standpoint and the fans and stuff, they think that's just kind of one-sided. I mean, when we did the Woody's Award, Woody Awards and we performed with the cool kids, like, this whole thing is about memories and stories and the journey and all of that. Like, you know what I mean? We're lucky to, to get paid and we're lucky to have people out there chanting our name. Like, that's all, that's all bonus. But uh, we get to travel, we get to go places, and, and Isle of College really kind of put me in an opportunity to go connect with a bunch of people my age, get people in, in a room from all over the place under one, under, under one ceiling and, and talk to them. So, man, it was uh, obviously a wild time and, and it's a lot different now and we've grown out of it. So, yeah, we have a challenge ahead of us to make sure that people are concentrating on new stuff. Um, but, yeah, at, at that time, man, and, and still this day, I mean, we performed it tonight and people were wilding out and jumping around. So, um, you know, gift and a curse as it all is. But at the end of the day, man, building a foundation and doing stuff positive is what it's all about. Yeah. Man, I don't regret anything, and even even the even all the stuff that we've been through from a uh, from a uh, a record record label standpoint and stuff like oh you know you can do it you don't have to do it uh, with record labels and stuff nowadays. It's true, but like I learned so many valuable lessons about patience and, and, and working hard and dedication and, and sticking to your like being the man of your work. Like lessons like that, when you're young, you kind of just go about it. You're kind of brushing people off, but man, like. More so than ever, the uh, the moral of the story, really treating others the way you want to be treated, has been really uh, reaffirmed through through my, through my whole journey. So I'm happy as hell, man. I, I've learned so many valuable life lessons that I get to carry on with me. Am I aware of the term proud rap? I mean, I'm aware of it, but I don't know what it means. I don't know, man. I mean, perception is everything. I mean, it's all subjective. I know that these a lot of these kids have fans. Uh, Based of all that's and that's that's cool, man. I mean, I think that at the end of the day, if people if people can recognize the fact they're like, "Go, oh, hey, Asher was the first one to do a lot of that stuff." That's cool. To me. If not, I mean, whatever. I can't get caught up in that stuff. Uh, that's that's some of the stuff that like really more more so than anything else is just a distraction. Uh, it, it causes it and it brings up feelings in a lot of other people like jealousy and envy. That's stuff that we don't really have time for, man. Like we really got to keep it moving, but. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, people are putting out good music, and it's good music, and it's legit, and it's contributing. That's all that really matters. But if you're, I mean, this is this is a this is a long haul, dog. This is 10 years. Like this is 10, 15 years. This isn't about having a one, two good years. Like we've seen it all. We've seen the, the highest of high, and we've also seen the lowest of low. So, um, you know, all those all those other people that everyone was talking about, all oh, frat rap and this, that, and a category of its own. I'm happy that I could spawn something if that's what it is. If if that's what you're saying, like, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, man, it's all subjective. It's all perception. Whatever people want to listen to is what they're going to listen to. And I'm just out here doing my damn thing. I don't know. I, yo, people are going to classify you. We've been through this. I mean, I went through it heavy with the M stuff, man. I went through it heavy with the M. Like, I, uh, I had it, my head on a chopping block, dude. Like, because I was really, like, one of the first... Oh, it, was, it was so crazy. I wrote a song about it, man. Like... I wrote a song about it, I mean, on, a, on the album, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me to dedicate a song, but like, if that's how serious it was for me from an emotional standpoint that I wanted to talk about it, and I thought it was, I thought it was cool to talk about it. And uh, even my homegirl, Catherine, she was like, dude, that's one of my favorite joints. So, we, may, we just try to make honest music and stuff that we're going through, and, you know, we were one of the first, uh, you know, white hip-hop artists to come up after huge Eminem. Like, how do you top that? You don't. You don't. You gotta do your own thing. So. It's cool, man. I'm, I'm happy that we've been able to open up and create lanes for other people to just to just do this stuff. But I just want them to do it well. I want them to, uh, you know, it's not about taking. It's about it's about giving for real. It's about doing some really really dope stuff. So I hope everybody recognizes that. Good good music shines, man. Oh, there's no beef, dude. No, there's no beef at all. Uh, Mac and like he's from Pittsburgh too. Like young kid, like energetic, happy as hell to be here. He's like happy to be here I, I don't like you know I don't I don't know him like that at all I wish I could we met at the uh, spot good like he's a good kid man like I'm never I'm the last person that's gonna take food off someone else's plate I'm the last person that's gonna hate on somebody else like that's just there's no real real time for that you know what I'm saying we've got we've got a lot of hard work to do so you know what I mean like I'm happy that if that's the case, if I made the road easier for him, like, word up, man. Like, it's a shitty road to go down when everyone's comparing you to somebody, man. You just can't do your thing. So, uh, no, man, more power to somebody that's just doing their thing. So.
That's what it is. Deal, man. We're in the music business. You know what I'm saying? And it's 2011, about to be 2012. It's 2012. Things are drastically different. We have an opportunity and we had interest from Def Jam, which historically is, is hip hop music. You know what I'm saying? So for myself to have an opportunity to have an excited major label behind me, using their resources and me understanding what I have to do in order to create content and be out there. If we can tag team on this stuff, I don't think there's any way we can lose. It's not about being on a major label, it's not about doing it independently, it doesn't matter. It comes down to the music and the quality of product. If I have an opportunity to be with a major label that's going to push a quality product for me, why would I not use their resources, you know what I mean? I have the utmost respect for people that decide that they want to do it uh, however they want to do it. But, uh, you know, you, using Def Jam and um, the people in my corner, my, my man DJ Recognize, who's with me since day one, Rufio, JP, these, we just have beautiful people around us, man. We have a long, long way to go. So, yeah, we came out with Olive College. We had the greenhouse effect before that. We gave them seared foie gras for free, which was just crazy. We gave them the Roth EP for free. We gave them Paps and Jazz for free. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not like I'm out here just, oh, just nothing but hit singles. Like, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I'm working with a lot of beautiful, beautiful people, and I just hope people are as excited as I am for what's happening right now. So, uh, Last Man Standing is on, is on the record. So Last Man Standing is on the record. We got that on Madden. Um, and we're just trying to keep it balanced, dude. It's all about being balanced. I mean, at the end of the day, there are casual music listeners, and then there are people who surf the web and try to find stuff. So uh, we have an opportunity. I pride myself on being versatile. I pride myself on being able to do a record like I Love College and the rhyme over Jay Dilla beats, like oh, oh, on, on Trash Minutes, you know what I'm saying? So. Like, that's stuff that's fun for me, man. So I'm gonna keep it fun, I'm gonna challenge myself, I'm gonna challenge my listeners, and I hope everybody's up for that. We're gonna do weird stuff, we're gonna do new stuff. Paps and Jazz sounds like nothing that we've ever done before. So if you haven't checked out Paps and Jazz, do that. If you haven't downloaded Seared Foie Gras, if you haven't downloaded the Roth EP, all this stuff is free. Mascarilla.com has been holding down new school music for a while now. So get all your dope stuff there. Asher Roth, we just tore down the Brooklyn Bowl. Hope you guys had a good time. Roger, my man, peace and love. Won my fantasy football league the other year, man. But go 49ers, man, we're enjoying ourselves. Peace, guys. Mascarilla.com.